This is the best way to put a PL259 connector on RG8X or RG58 coax using the adapter ferrules. The UHF connector PL259 has been around for a long time and was originally designed for RG8 coax. For use on the smaller sizes, RG8X and RG58, a ferrule is provided. The prescribed method of securing the shield to the connector is to solder through the holes provided on the sides. Frankly, this is a poor way. This also leaves the cable free to wiggle and twist, which soon results in breaking the small hard-drawn wires and then failure. This method also has poor tensile strength. If attached to the feed point of a dipole and has to support the weight of the coax, it will soon fail. Bad connectors cause most of the problems in the ham shack and are the hardest to find. My method solves these problems. Since the ferrule does not reach the dielectric block that holds the center conductor tube, it cannot capture the shield wires and stabilize them from movement. The space must be filled. After assembly, if the coax can be twisted or wiggled, it will fail. Start by stripping the covering 7 eighths of an inch from the end and place the ferrule over the coax and fold the shield wires back over the ferrule. Place the coax and ferrule in a small desk vise facing up. Carefully solder around the top edge of the ferrule on the wire until all the wires are soldered together and the height of the edge has been built up about 30 to 50 thousandths of an inch. Then trim the excess wire so it is clear of the threads. If solder has built up on the sides excessively so it makes insertion into the connector difficult, just squash it down around the sides with your pliers and, or trim off the excess with a pair of dikes. Strip the dielectric from the center conductor leaving one eighth of an inch above the solder band. After insertion and making sure all the center conductor wires are in the tube, then tighten the ferrule all the way. Next, check to see if it can be wiggled or twisted. It should be tight and stable. Check with a VOM for continuity and then solder the center conductor. Don't forget to put the connector band facing the right direction on the coax before you start. Your connector will be stable and tight for years to come, no matter whether it's connecting your rig to the amp or the amp to your dipole. For more technical ham information, please visit my website, w5tom.com.